Hello everyone and welcome to week number 17 of the 2015 season of the Emerald Madden League here on Madden NFL 15 for the Xbox One. Being set to wrap up the regular season here against the 1-13-1 Atlanta Falcons. Shouldn't uh, take that for granted though. <laughs> As we've seen throughout the season that uh, no game is a simple matter for me and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So... Here's how things stand. We're coming off of a week 16 drubbing at the hands of Shane and the Carolina Panthers. Um, I'm sure if you watch that, you could tell my abject frustration with that game. Um, I mean, not much really to say about it that I didn't say in the short time that I actually spoke during that broadcast. Um, yeah, it's just simple fact of the matter is that there are quite a few guys in the league that are a lot better at uh, the game than I am. So. Um, basically when it comes down to it, um, realistically speaking that my main chance against most people in this league is I need to control the ball and the clock for as much of the game as I possibly can because I start, I'm not going to be able to play a shootout with just with pretty much anybody in this league. So, so that's that <clears throat> moving on to week 17 here, um, Sitting at nine and six, and um, I've clinched a playoff spot, so we have guaranteed that. Are you any Twitter notifications? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, someone who speaks Spanish. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> so I've I've clinched a playoff spot. Uh, I'm sitting at nine and six. We'll head over to the the standing screen here. So just so you can see, we'll actually go in so we can kind of try and break down some playoff permutations. But let's see, AFC South. So I'm sitting a game up on the Texans, and if we look at the tie breaks, if I happen to drop this game and the Texans win, we'll be tied at nine and seven. But we split the season series, so here is where the tiebreaker is going to lie. This division record, and I hold the tiebreaker over them, four and two and three and three. So, in effect, I believe I have clinched the AFC South, but for some reason, um, the games don't acknowledge that until it's absolutely official. They don't consider the tiebreakers, so unless you've clinched outright, it doesn't it doesn't t tend to uh, factor that in. So. There you have that. So, let's get going into this game here. Let's go. So, as it is, uh, as I'm recording this, it is December 26th, so I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas and Santa Claus was fantastic to all of you. Santa Claus was very kind to me. Santa Claus, or in my, in my case, being an adult, <laughs> my wonderful wife, <laughs> and my fantastic stepdaughter, who got me all sorts of cool stuff. Among them being NBA 2K15 and FIFA 15, so once I get used to playing those, we might uh, do some streaming of that stuff, too. So anyways, while we're getting this going, uh, once again, if you're interested in joining a an online connected franchise league for Madden NFL 15, head on over to iongamecorner.wix.com slash iongc. Hit the button for the Madden 15 page on the right hand side. That will give you all of the info, rules, and teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 leagues. For the Xbox One League to join, you want to contact me. My gamer tag on Xbox Live is Aretheus. And you can also reach me via email, iongamecorner at gmail.com or on Twitter at Ion Game Corner. And if you are interested in the PlayStation 4 League, you'll want to contact Nick. You can reach him on PlayStation Network. Kagone is his handle there, K-A-G-O-N-E. And you can also reach him on Twitter at Nick Oliveira 87 We do accept players pretty much at any point in time. Um, we actually just had someone join for Week 16. <laughs> 
which is very interesting because he took over the Cowboys, who are out of the playoffs. But he plays the Giants, who right now are one of three teams sitting at 14 and one and have a chance to lock up either a bye in the first round of the playoffs or home field advantage. So um, the other two involved there are Jeremy, the Seahawks, and Shane, who <coughs> you saw whooped me last week, the Panthers. And they both play computer teams this week, so they seem to have the inside track to the first round bye and potentially home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. So let's see if we can uh, establish this ground game because it's really what I'm going to need if I'm going to go. I mean, I'm in the playoffs, so this is a victory. So we're actually you're actually going to get to see some <laughs> some live playoff games here for the Emerald Man League this year, or this season, I should say. And depending on the seedings, I believe I should probably be facing a computer-controlled team in the wild card round. And then from there, <coughs> hopefully, we, <laughs> we have a divisional game against someone to worry about. But that's where I, I mean, really going to have to work to establish the run. Third down and one. They'll run it with him again. And Matthews is tackled right at the 35. So this has been a pretty good start on that front. I mean, that was one thing I really didn't get a chance to do against Shane in the last game. Um, a, he's very good. <laughs> so he, uh, didn't let me get much going on the ground and B he was up a couple scores quickly which tends to neutralize your ability to run the ball by more or less forcing you to go to the air to try and get back into the game Matthews takes his spot in the backfield play fake uh, linebacker closed there a little quicker than I was hoping he would so let's see if we can uh, connect on this third down, pick up the first, or at least get a little bit closer and make it a little bit of a better field goal attempt. There we go. See, so another that that route there by Robinson was supposed to be an option route and. Where the defender initially sat down on the on the comeback, you know he probably should have cut that to the out instead of just sitting down there. But again, we are dealing with AI here, I suppose. So only so much you can expect. So run there. That 50 yards already on the first drive. So, so I think that is uh, that is the textbook way to establish a run here. Trying to go to the other side of the guard there. There's enough for the first down though. Keep those chains moving. Because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. Mounting a serious drive. Now first and ten. The give. Smith's in on the tackle. Marcus Ladmore in on that one. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power so it up in here. Pick up those tough second yards. and six. Yeah, we'll stay on the ground. Why not? And now they'll try over again on second down. Play after play after play here on this drive. He's going to get another carry. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. I suppose we got to stay with us working here on the ground. Offense trying to pick up the first. 
marching down the field and taking their time. Let's cover from the left side. This may work out nicely. Here we go. That is actually going to do it for the first quarter. <laughs> now, see, this is exactly what I need to be able to do if I'm going to run with anybody here in the playoffs when I play against someone because I mean, look at that. Took the entire first quarter for my first drive. Hopefully he will punch it on his first play of the second quarter, but I mean, that's really what you need to do or what I'm going to need to do. Here we go. Touchdown. That's what I mean. That's what I'm going to need to do if I'm going to stand any chance of hanging with some of these guys. Is basically just completely restrict the number of drives in the game and hope that I can force them into making a mistake. That's what happened in last year's game. Uh, I actually won two Super Bowls in the league last year, and part of the reason was is that I was in the AFC and there wasn't a ton of competition player-wise in the AFC, and the other thing was that when I did get to the Super Bowl and both times were against Nick and he never lets me uh, <laughs> he never ceases to uh, talk about how boring those games were but um, basically just controlling time of possession and keeping his offense off the field and then taking advantage of any mistakes that he happened to make on offense that is the one thing is that a lot of the guys have very prolific offenses in this league but they because they do put the ball up so much. I mean, they they do have not everyone, but a few of them do turn the ball over here and there. But against the computer, they can generally more than make up for it. Ooh, nice play there. Good Bryant, nice penetration there. Oh, that's right. I'm facing Adrian Peterson here. They are thinking run, and they stop it. The Falcons with a third down play coming up and hoping to improve in this category versus a week ago. I'll switch this around and get my linebackers coming from the other side. Oh, yeah, I think he got it. Yeah, they got it. See, we you don't see it too often. You will see and probably see it more from players than you do from the computer. The, you will see some counters out of that out of a shotgun formation. But generally, you can, on a run, it will go to the side that the running back is opposite of the quarterback. So if the running back is offset to the right of the quarterback, typically if it's a hand if it's a handoff, it's going to the left. Second and twelve. Looking across the middle, he's got the catch. Nobody over there. But not until he picked up the first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. First down at the 50. Lions got it on the play action. Olsen's got the catch and the first. Defense is struggling a little bit here. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Oh, it's a terrible job by the defense. Staying with the passing game on first down. And Gaze there to take him down. Anytime you have man-to-man -man coverage like we see this time, it's all about the receiver getting away from the defender. He does it, and the quarterback puts it right on. Weird to see that the Falcons are, have the record that they do. I mean, we've got some pretty talented players on offense here. Because their defense is pretty poorly ranked. I don't know if you got a chance to see that before. Before the game started, I think they were somewhere around like 29 in the league in defense. Second down coming up. Wide receivers are bunched up. Come on, someone get some pressure here. All day to throw. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Uh, Hold tight here and hold them to a field goal. They're on third down. 
I know one thing. If they give up three points, they'll be very happy. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the six. Oh, nice. There we go. Dakota Watson. And that's, that wasn't a, that was a good read by the defender there. That wasn't even designed blitz. But I believe Watson had the running back on that play. The running back stayed in the block, so he came in and attacked. And we're at the two-minute warning here. So it be nice to uh, see if we can put some more points up on the board going into the half since the Falcons will be getting the second half kickoff. And they almost, they kind of did what I did in the first quarter. Basically held the ball for most of the quarter. They always want to get something out of it. Get some points. This time the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives them three. A decent little return there. They'll help. So we're at a minute 52 and all three timeouts. So there's plenty of time to make something happen here on this drive. As long as I don't do anything stupid and turn the ball over. I'm actually going to audible. we got a blitz coming from the safety on the left side, it looks like. So I'm going to send Blackman into a slant. I'm going to send Lee down the, the seam just to try and put some pressure on their defenders here. I knew I was going to have to get rid of that one pretty quick. It's now second down and four. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Makes the reception. <coughs> he did block and didn't get. After a gain of three. Nickel formation for the defense here. Portal's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Nice. Those uh, corner routes are a little iffy sometimes with Bortles. His uh, accuracy isn't the greatest, and especially uh, just a lot of based on some of the way that the play style that I have and some of the games I have, especially last game, his confidence is not. not the Ooh, we got a double safety blitz coming here, it looks like. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Matthews right down the middle here. They started fresh, and they're playing tough today. Oh, I needed an extra second. I probably should have. I should have um, sent Matthews in motion to one one of the wings. So he got a quicker start off the line there. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody opened down the field. I'm not in the no huddle right here. Because it's third and one. If somehow I don't convert this, although this is kind of maybe that fourth down no man's land here. Oh, we got a blitz coming from the left side. He's looking to the right here on this throw. So, moot point, but the point that I was making there is that with over a minute left, um, really didn't want to rush and necessarily give them more time if I didn't convert the third or the fourth if I decided to go for it. Ooh, where was that being thrown? Kind of what I'm talking about with the uh, portals there. That leads us to second down. Let's see how the defense lines up here. So I'm going to again send Blackman on a slant here. Oh. On defense, when you're a defensive back, it's so much about timing. That time, he times it. Read the zone wrong there. Jumps up and knocks the ball down. It's third down coming up. It's we'll have to see what the pressure looks like coming in here. See if we have. All right, we got a blitz coming from the left side. So we might not have time to get this route to Robinson. We'll see. Shorts is probably going to be my second option. But I'm going to have to get rid of the ball quickly. Third down and ten. 
And not enough for the first down. They're going to take a timeout. I'm just going to take the field goal here. So now we have 36 seconds left. They've got two timeouts, but if we can kick off deep and pin them deep, hopefully they'll just run the run the half out. We really don't want to obviously let up, let them get any more points, considering that they got the second half kickoff coming to them. Nice inside the 20. We'll take that. So we'll see what they do here. They may try and run a play and see what they do. Yeah, they're not in in a pass formation, so first down coming up. Might be a handoff. Probably will be a handoff out of this big jumbo set, so but if they on the field here. You know, break a decent run here, you could see them call a timeout and try and continue to get something going. Yeah, nothing really there, so they're gonna just run this block out. I mean, I could have tried to call. I could have called timeouts there and tried to force a punt, but then, you know, you're looking to get in the ball around your own 30 or so with no timeouts and maybe, like, 20, 15 to 20 seconds left. So, I mean, realistically, there's... Nothing real. No, not, not a whole lot of good can happen out of that. So, it's an important first drive on defense here. The Falcons ready to take over the football. Keep them out of the end zone, obviously, and hopefully get off the field a lot quicker than we did their first drive of the, of the game. Second down here after that run play. Step drop. Pulls it Ooh. In. Nice I should have to the full back there and see if anybody had him covered up or not. If someone did, they were very late getting there. <laughs> Gotta love those plays when they're running one way and then completely just wing around and throw the ball on the opposite side of the field. Peterson lines up in the backfield. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Ooh. Reception, easy, wide open, and Gaze there to take him down. Amazing that he found that much of a hole in the zone there. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities, what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Ryan still has it. Olsen's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Watson's in on the tackle. Oh, my Safety, they're having some real trouble covering Greg Olson. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. They'll take the snap from. We need to consider going into the nickel so I can get a corner on him instead of instead of safety. Just so we can run with him. There we go. That'll help. talking about getting overpowered I guess they were expecting a speed move the right guard and right tackle are both fooled they get run over and they give up a sack Matt Ryan under center Falcons from the 22 Ooh. <laughs> that's a pickup of 14 anytime your team is down you're inside the other team's red zone you look for one of your star players your quarterback for the split second we would have had Ryan there they need to make a big play here Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. 
Ryan's got it in the gun. Oh, and there's Olsen. <laughs> Just as I had talked about it. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. It's good. The Falcons defense will now be ready to get on the field. Their offense moved the ball right. for 80 Now let's see if we can get a drive together like we had in the first really quarter. No answer for them on what was a very impressive drive. The Jaguars come to the line, starting this drive at the 28. The Jaguars take it from the 28. Whoa. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. What happened there? Usually, uh... Situation. Usually, you're not supposed to let the defensive lineman go on, on, on a draw or a draw play. Okay, so that was an interesting safety shift. So I don't know if that corner is coming or what the deal is there. Uh oh, this is bad. <laughs> Saw the linebacker drop back into that zone. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's, uh, it's fun to watch. Every kind of a once big in a while, I like third to see down the here. offense take a beating to this, the NFL. It's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Short, yeah, I'm going to audible seven. Lewis into a straight uh, seam route. Portal's going to take it from the gun. There we go. <laughs> I knew even where those linebackers are positioned, even if they were going back into a zone, they weren't going to be able to get back there quick enough. So basically you just had to get it to him before he got to the safety level. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Go run it. Get out there, Harbor. Oh, come on. <laughs> Harbor, you got to get there quicker. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Shorts lined up in the slot. Makes the reception. Good piece of tackling. The Jaguars do a really good job this time on offense. The quarterback throws the ball short. They pick up a few yards. Here on third and two. See if we can get Blackman on this quick out route. Offense lines up here. Third down and two. Just go. Blackman hauls it in. You can see how, you know, again, AI. Corner's playing way too far off on a third and two like that. They bring in the extra tight end. First down at the 33. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. <laughs> That'll stop the play right there. Matthews is a dangerous That's tough. I thought the uh but there is no room this time. What a job by the thought the, the linebacker who was coming in from the left side was gonna be able to get me, so I had to try and get outside quicker, but inside would have been better there. The Jaguars snap it at the thirty one, looking to the right side and throwing. So that'll take us to the fourth quarter. All tied at 10. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Let's see if we can't keep this going. And uh, all right, so if you see how overloaded the left side is and where I'm supposed to be going, yeah, I'm not doing that. So we're gonna move to the right side here. Here is the first snap of the. Oh come on! You gotta block the guy. That was at least a 10-yard gain if that one guy got blocked. Or the green zone, if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you can do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with a run. We'll find out. I have to watch out for the linebackers here on this route. Second and nine. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was dead to rights. Ooh, who's hurt? It's got to be the guy who hit Bortles.
Wow. Awesome. <laughs> I'm actually watching it now on the stream so I can Wow! Guy came completely free on the blitz. Nice. Alright, now it's time for the defense to do some work. Hang on to this lead. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. No return. The ball's so we got out to the 80 yards to work with here on defense. Let's see if we can uh, keep him from going 80. It's Set a little bit of pressure here on first down. Line. The defense comes out of the nickel. Ryan takes it from the gun. Oh. I was going to say, if Olsen comes down with that. I haven't really forced a ton of incompletions, but also not really. They haven't learned too much in the past. I mean, looking at nine completions for less than 150 yards. So, come on, get there! Oh. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. First down at the 39. Whoa, what happened to me there? Come on, get him. There we go. <laughs> I completely pushed and went down. And Derek Marks with the sack. That's big. I believe we can uh, capitalize on this. And he goes down for the sack. Ryan standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Come on, get there again. Ooh, come on, knock that down, please. Ooh, got it. Nice. What a pick. William Gay. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. This play, they'll go with two tight ends. And the give to Ryan Matthews. He'll pick up seven this time. just power this clock out here. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody yeah, that you can run A lot of success run running the ball in the first quarter, also, so. It opens up so many other things for your offense. Two tight ends on the field here. Matthews has it out of the eye. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Well, the nice. defense, they give them a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. You got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Right back to him once more. And he's tackled Took the, uh, three yards guard way down. too long when you have a on that pull. Not playing good technique. But still worked out for seven yards. Plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. We're late in the game, and the offense is in no hurry. And that picks up three. First down for fullback. A lot of people talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's overwhelmed, but in a situation like this, where you're winning a close game in the second half, you want to control the tempo, control the clock, keep getting those first downs. The Jaguars. Oh, come on, you got to hold your block better than that. Is that Lewis? Yeah. Jeez. Don't worry about the safety. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Not sure where the clock is here. Yeah, I think that's going to take us to the two minute warning. So we'll go ground here again on second down. 
see what we can pick up and force, force a timeout here. And then we'll, we'll have to worry about picking up this first down on third. Although we're almost we're about in field goal range, so. Yeah, we're in we're in field goal range definitely, so go with the slant here. Try and make a sure throw. Try not to take a sack, obviously. It's a two tight end formation. Just a quick drop back. Oh. <laughs> Bortles strikes again. <laughs> Alright, so big field goal here. Getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at him. Right, I think we got this. There we go. That's big right there, obviously. Two score game. They have two timeouts. We're under two minutes left to go, so. Should be able to hold on to this one. Good job by the offense. Good job by the kicker. He's not going to test the coverage this time. It'll come out to the 20. All right, so. Normally with three wide receivers in the field, I would be in the nickel, but I'm going to go into the dime because it's obvious passing here. Plus, it also gives me some extra speed on the field to try and deal with Olsen because he's been really one of the major threats in this. That will take that. <laughs> no gain. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Peterson lines up in the backfield. Lions back in shotgun formation. Get him. Oh. <laughs> he has the grab. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. The pass picks up some solid yards. Now it's see if we can short. send a little bit of a blitz here. Third short than third long, of course. They've come out in the dime package. Lions got it in the gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to get him. <laughs> As that went fourth down, so I'm assuming they're going to go for it here. Yep. So, see, we've got a corner here on Olsen, which I think it's a dime guy, but still. Get him. <laughs> there we go. That's the game right there. Olsen must have stayed in the block because that was my uh, dime corner who came in on the blitz. Score as quickly as possible. Well, this is where your offensive coordinator's got to call a play that gives you a chance to score quickly. Find something that goes up the seam, so vertical, uh, down the field, so the quarterback right, so has a chance just gonna to get the score in one play. See if we can't run the rest of this clock out here. We've got the two timeouts, so they'll use those. But first down ends the game. First down at the 18. Oh, whoa, man, come on, Matthews. you got to hang on to that football. Uh, spoke too soon. Man, so there's some more defense here. We'll send a couple corners. Not. First down, pressure on every snap now. Matt Ryan under center. First down and 10. Oh, <laughs> wide open over there. Stay in bounds? That's right, he's still in bounds. Late in the fourth quarter. Holding on to the timeout. He'll rush back to the line. Looking across the middle. Come on, there's Leslie. Make a better tackle than that. After that catch for a first down. Now the offense in the hurry up. Ryan from the gun. Throws to the right. Has Olsen. I hate the player lock camera. <laughs> that second down coming up. Trailing. They'll go hurry up rather than call a timeout. He's looking to the right here on this throw. In on the stop. Now on the first hang on to those timeouts. The rest of the way. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Oh, fair lock. Looking to the right side and throwing. Still not taken down. Oh. Big tackles, although he stayed in bounds there, so that maybe that was better. <laughs> the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. 
Freeman's the receiver all the way to the right side. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Throw to the left. On the money. Uh oh. Oslozny's <laughs> gonna make the tackle. That's right. 20 seconds, two scores, and this game's still basic. This game's still over, so. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. All day with the three-man rush. And he's still sacked. <laughs> Second down coming up. Time, obviously. A faster the rest of the way. Time continues. He's going to spike it. <laughs> he's going to spike it. Five seconds left. All right, we'll go... Three deep safeties into the free event. Play of this drive. Since they basically got to go to the end zone here. And it's in the books. Third and a long way to go. And oh, interception. There we go. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, uh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you yeah, win not, the not the prettiest of wins, but it, still, 10-point victory. We'll take it. So, uh, go through the stats here real quick before we wrap it up. So, Bortles, 13 of 18, 129. One touchdown, more importantly, no interceptions. That'll help. Confidence going into the playoffs. Matthews. 4.4 carry, 88 yards in the touchdown. Yards. Cecil Shorts, 3 for 35 with the touchdown. Yeah, Olsen led the way for them with 5 for 63. Ryan was 18 of 24, 225. One touchdown, two picks, although one of those was that garbage time pick at the end. A meaningless play. And we held Peterson to 19 yards rushing, so pretty good. Pretty good overall. So let's uh, get back to the league menu and wrap this up. So let's see, get over to the action screen. There we go, 20 to 10 victory over the Falcons here in week 17 locking in a 10 win season for the Jaguars so we were 7, 7 and 9 last season so 3 game improvement, that's decent I'll take it we got some weekly goals and some other goals here yeah defense as well this year alright so there we go. Once again, 20 to 10 victory over the Falcons here in week 17 to wrap up the regular season. Heading on into the playoffs now, and with that win, that locks up the AFC South title for me for sure. And let me uh, look real quickly at. Oh, I'm just going through the game, through the game instead of going through my website. Uh, standings. I think it's still going to be the it's going to be the four seed for me. So if we go uh, north, yeah, Brian, the Bengals, fifteen and zero, ten and six, Jets are eleven and four, Raiders eleven and four. Yeah, so basically the, the so I'm the four seed. So that means I will be playing the five, who is most oh so that's most likely going to be Ryan. At ten and five, because the other wild card team uh, is going to be looks like the Texans probably. So they'll be the six. So yeah, so I'll have a home game against Ryan. It'll be a rematch from week one. So that should be interesting. So get that to look forward to next week. So there we go. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Once again, if you're interested in joining an online connected franchise league for Madden NFL 15, head on over to iongamecorner.wix.com slash iongc. Hit the Madden 15 button on the right-hand side. That will give you 
all of the info rules and teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 leagues. You can also join from there, it gives you the info there, but I'll give it to you right now. If you want to join the Xbox One League, contact me. My gamer tag is Aretheus on Xbox Live. You can see it right there under the Jags logo. You can also reach me via email, iongamecorner at gmail.com or on Twitter at iongamecorner. And like I said earlier, we take guys at any point, so um, might not be taking people going into the playoffs because that's a little, I don't know, We'll see about. I'll see how I feel about that. But again, if you want to join, contact me, and we'll we'll uh, figure that all out. For the PlayStation 4 League, you want to contact Nick. His handle on PlayStation Network is Kagone, spelled K-A-G-O-N-E. You can also reach him on Twitter at Nick Oliveira 87. So there you have it. Once again, 20 to 10 win here in Week 17 as we get set for the 2015 playoffs here in the Emerald Band League. So. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, once again, uh, have a, hope you had a very merry Christmas, and I'll probably talk to. I'll probably have another one up there here before New Year's. So, happy holidays, and we'll catch you next time for the wild card round of the playoffs here in the 2015 season of the Emerald Madden League.